Hello, good afternoon. It's Sunday again. So, I will be showing you the new features or the new project that I created. So, first of all, if you go to the site, you will see this login page automatically without authentication. Then, let's log in. Username with password admin123. So, for this, these are the list of inventory that we receive in our it depends in your company in your store so in order to add a new supplier you can write there a new item code like box f32 21 22 then the item name will be what will be the item name pilatin so the quantity is around like a thousand then the price is 10 pesos each submit so we have here we have here a box pilatin and then the quantity remaining is still 1000 because we didn't have any transaction yet so for that if we have a customer we just need to click the items these items is directly linked in our inventory so for that like for an instance uh, a customer wants to buy a uh, perla just click order and then you can just see there that it's already selected and you cannot click it it's an indication that you already select Perla and then the customer want to buy some young Pelatin and Titan gel yo so for that you need we after selecting all the orders we need to go to the orders in order to ask our client if how many he wants or she wants to buy like for an instance um the client changed her or his mind that he don't want to buy perla anymore so you just simply delete this one and then you can see that there's no more perla and then if you go back into items you can already click the order perla it's not selected anymore because it's not here in our order so like for an instance he wants to buy some young some young is just um 40 pesos and then he wants to buy 10 then submit another one is pelatin he wants to buy uh, 15 then submit so for this we already already bought 15 pieces of pelatin and 10 pieces of samyang so if you go back here samyang is quantity is already 999 it, we subtract it with our 10 orders and even the pelatin so to check that we need to go to inventory and then here in our inventory samyang we receive a supply of a thousand and then we have the quantity remaining of 990 because a customer bought 10 pieces and then even in pelatin a customer bought 15 pieces so here in orders and then he don't want to buy titan shell anymore we just simply delete that one okay so after that he wants to pay the total amount so he, he just need to click total so here we have some young pelatin the quantity is 10 the price is 40 going to multiply it just it you just need to add zero so it's 400 15 10 add zero it's 150 total is 550 so here we have a total 550 so after that when a uh, customer already paid the bills so the stuff we just need to click submit then after that everything will be all items here will be um, deleted and then you can see it here in our report here we have um, some young we have gelatin a total of 15 400 150 etc so if you're going to check totals it's empty orders empty items is still the same product with here in the inventory but the difference just this is the one who has been always been subtracted and then you can choose the order and then here in our inventory you can simply say that um, um, a samyam of a total quantity of 1000 total remaining and 90 so you can tell you can tell the sales every day you can tell the sales like around a week because we have here a date delivered price and also in our report maybe we can put a print function here after you click print so you'll be having a pop-up print or windows print and then print the report so you can log out i don't know what i'm gonna do with the name maybe 
if you click here you can see your profile and then edit profile maybe um like i said this is just a very basic one so there, there's no need for you to argue a, like i just this is a simple program it's just an easy way to create this okay it's 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 quietly easy but it's challenging the relationship then i'm using an eloquent codes so um it's challenging so let's log out and then thank you